あ今日の聖句を読む前にそのバックストーリーをちょっと話すべきと思います。Before we read today's scripture, I need to tell you a bit of the backstory behind the situation. これがあの昔のイスラエルでしたのであのサムエルという預言者があイスラエルの、まあ、指導というかあそのあ取りなしあもしていました。Uh, this was in Israel a long time back、uh, and the prophet Samuel was、uh, in leadership, you could say. He was、uh, the intercessor for the nation.、Uh, けど、人々が周りの民族を見て、王様があればいいなと思ってました。But the people had been looking at the nations around them and they said, We need a king. それで、あのサムエルが全然王様らしく振る舞ってなかったのであサムエルに王様を選んでくださいと頼みました。Now, Samuel had not been acting like a king at all, but they went to Samuel and they said, Give us a king, choose a king for us. で、サムエルが強く警告したんですよ。もう王様があるとこれこれこれも税金もかかったりあれこれもあるよにかかわらずもう王様くれと言うんですね。But Samuel warned them clearly and strongly what it would mean if they had a king that you're going to be paying taxes and this, that, and the other. And, and, but they insisted anyway, we want a king. あそしてサムエルがじゃあそれならと祈ったらあ神様がサウロという人物を指摘しました。Uh, but with that, then uh, 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 Samuel prayed and God indicated an,、uh, an individual named Saul. でサウロが本当に身長が高くて、まあ、あ他の人が彼の肩ぐらいまでしかこうないんですね頭ぐらいがプンとそれほど出た身長の高い人ですぐ人々が「ああ指導者だ!と」となぜなら背の高い人がすぐ指導者に見られるんですけどね。あ<笑>あ、uh, uh, uh, Saul was tall, he was a head taller than the people around him, and people were quick to accept him as、uh, a leader.、Uh, people are like that, you know, they tend to、uh, expect tall people to be leaders. で、しばらくサウロが本当にいい活躍もいろいろしましたので、uh, まあ、周りの民族とも、との戦いで、指導して、uh, 指導してました。And for a while there, Saul was doing a pretty good job of leading the Israelites, and、uh, they were having battles with、uh, some of the peoples around them. けど、そこで、あの、神様が、このアマレック人を絶滅しなさい。もうエジプトからカナンの地に移動したときにアマレック人がもう本当に敵対したの通さないんですね。本当に別に戦いたくないんですけど通してくれという頼んだときにもそれも戦ってきた民族だったんですね。But、uh, then God indicated that they were to wipe out the Amalekites. Now when Israel had come out of Egypt into the land of Canaan.、Uh, they had asked to pass through the territory of the Amalekites, but the Amalekites wouldn't do that. They said, We're going to fight you, you know. And、uh, so they were, had not been at all friendly at that point. 
あだから神様が一人残さずにその家畜も残さずに全部殺しなさいと指摘したんです。Uh, so God said, don't leave anyone and don't leave any of their animals either. Kill them all. This is to be a specific sign. これがあの印としてですね、神様に逆らうなというような意味でもありましたんですね。So this was to be a sign that you are not to stand against God and what he's doing. で、サウロがあの戦いに挑んで勝ったんですが、王様殺さずにあの囚人にしましたんですね。そして、その家畜の最も丈夫なものを取っておきました。Now, Saul won in battle against the Amalekites, but he did not keep, kill their king. He kept their king as a prisoner, and he didn't kill all the animals. He kept the best ones. これが、あの、高慢と、もう、野心というか、それから、この行動になったんですね。This was because of his pride and his greed. もうあ、その王様が、ほら、私、勝ったぞということで、他の国に見せるためにあ、もう神様の言う通りにしなかったし、その家畜などが、自分の儲けのために、ね、Now, he didn't kill the king because he wanted to show the、uh, nations around, see, I won, here's the king, you know.、Uh, but he didn't kill the animals because he was greedy. He wanted more for himself. あのまあ、その家畜がですね、神様への捧げ物、いけにえとしてとっておきましたと。あのサ,ウあのサムエルに言い訳しようとしたんですけど、神様が、あそれを、まあ、サウロも、あごめんなさい、サムエルもそれを見破ってましたんですね。Now, he was trying to say、uh, why, to, to Saul as an excuse to, oh, I kept the animals so that they could be sacrificed to God,、uh, you know, and such, but God saw through it and Samuel saw through it also. そこで、サムエルが今日の箇所を言いました。And that is when Samuel said today's passage. サムエル記上というか、第一サムエル記16章の、uh, uh, uh, 16あ15章、ごめんなさい。15章の22、23節。サミュエル、1 Samuel 15:22:23 and 23。第一サムエル記15章の22、23節。1 Samuel 15:22:23。するとサムエルが言った。主は主の御声に聞き従う。あことほどに、全書の生贄にやその他の生贄を喜ばれるだろうか。身を聞き従うことは生贄にに勝り、耳を傾けることはお羊の死亡に勝る。誠に背,きのあ背くことは占いの罪、従わないことが偶像礼拝の罪だ。あなたが主の言葉ああをああ知りけたので、主もあなたをあ大いから知りけた。But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much in obeying the voice of the Lord?To obey is better than sacrifice, 
and to heed is better than the fat of, lamb, of rams. For rebellion is like the sin of divination and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. 神様が宗教であんまりいいなと思わないんですね。Now God is not impressed with religion. Um now, we don't do burnt offerings today, but this applies to all religious functions. It was right after this that since Saul was no longer going to be king, that uh, God was choosing David to be king, that God spoke an extremely important truth. Uh, uh, now, uh, it's right after this that God spoke a very important truth. It's, you might need to turn the page. It's uh, cha chapter 16, the second half of verse 7. Dakara daichi Samuel ki 16 shou no nanasetsu kohan. So it's uh, 1 Samuel 16, 7b. Wadashi wa. あ、ごめんなさい。あ、人は、あ、見るようにあは、あ、見ないからだ。人は上辺を、あ、見るが、主は心を見る。The uh, 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 Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 私たちは上辺に集中しがちですね。We tend to look at externals and focus on those. しかし、神様がすべてご存知ですね。But God knows everything. 内面の方が外面よりはるかに大事なことです。What is on the inside is far more important than what is on the outside. まあ、あ、開かないんですが、有名な話でイエス様が弟子たちと共に神殿の再生箱見てたところで、一人のヤモメがあの2レプタ、一番小さいあの効果、今あの1円にもならないぐらい。それを2個投げ込んだ時に now it's a famous story, we're not going to turn to it, but uh, when Jesus and his disciples happened to be uh, close to the offering box at the temple, they saw this poor widow throw in two lepta, which Two together wouldn't even make one yen. Uh, but when she threw that in, Jesus said, she just gave a bigger offering than these huge sums of money that these wealthy people have been putting in. That's because God knows our hearts. Um, もう、
と思って喜んだんですね。Now, the Israelites were really happy with Saul because he was so tall and he looked like a king to them. しかし、神様は心を見ているんですね。But God looks at the heart.、Um, まあ、私たちの行動が大事です。Now, our actions are important. 私たちの行動が、実は私たちの言葉以上に私たちの心を表します。Now, our actions really show our hearts more than our words do. 誰でも作ろうってきれいなこと言えるんじゃないかと思います。Anyone can Put on a front and say nice, pretty things, I think. まあ、よく男性が女性を捕まえるためにきれいなこと言うと思うけど、日本のことわざで釣れ,て釣れた魚に餌をやるのか。<笑><笑> uh, now, uh, men are infamous for saying nice, pretty things to get a girl, but、uh, what happens once they've got her? And the, the Japanese proverb of、uh, do you feed a fish once you've caught it? Yes, some of that. So, the Matai no Nanasho no Juroku Kara Niju ni Totemo Taisetsu no Koto Iimashita. Now, in Matthew 7 16 to 20, Jesus said something pretty important. マタイの福音書7章の16節から17節あなた方は身によって彼らを見分けることができます。ブドウは茨から取れないし、イチジクはアザミから取れ,るわけでは取れるわけがないでしょう。同様に、良い木は皆良い実を結ぶが悪い木が悪い実を結びます。良い木が悪い実をならせならされることができないしまた悪い木が良い実をならせることがこともできません。良い実が良い実をああ結ばない木はああ皆ああ切り倒さ,れ倒されてああ火に投げ込まれますああああこういうわけでああ,あなた方は身によって彼らを見分けることができるのです By their fruit you will recognize them Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes? Or figs from thistles. Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by your fruit, you will recognize them. Actually, it's not just here. Various places. Jesus talked about this a lot. He said, If you love me, you will show that love by obeying what I say. Our actions are important. Saul がなさったことが直接の逆らいでしたんですね。従わないと自分で決めた。Now, what Saul did was rebellion against God. He decided he was not going to obey what he'd been told. しかし、それは言葉で追い隠そうとしましまたんですね。But he tried to cover that up 
with words. 彼がもう告白して本当に悔い改めてなら、改めてたんなら、結果がだいぶ違ってたと思います。Now, if he had confessed and repented, I think the results would probably have been quite different. もしかしたらダビデでなくて、サウルの方がずっと王だったかもね。Perhaps instead of David, Saul and his descendants would have been、uh, blessed by God. しかし、彼はもう隠そうとして認めなかった。But he tried to cover it up and he did not acknowledge his sin. けど、彼の後に選ばれたダビデがいい実例にもなりますね。But David, who was chosen after Saul, is a really good example here. 有名な話で、彼が本当にひどい罪を犯してしまったんですね。簡易を犯してそれを隠そうとするために、その女性の夫を戦死させたんですね。It's a well-known story, but David committed horrible sin. He committed adultery, and then to try to cover that up, He arranged that the woman's、uh, husband would be killed in battle. He doits me this. That's a terrible sin. しかし、犯したんじゃないかと、預言者によって言われたときに、彼がへりくだって、認めて、真に悔い改めた。But when A prophet confronted him on that. He genuinely repented. He was broken before the Lord and he,、uh, he confessed and he repented before God. So do you. Yes, some of them are nicked by David and Shison. As a result, David is, was physically,、uh, excuse me. Uh, Jesus was physically a descendant of David through Mary. We make mistakes. しかし、それを認めて、悔い改めるなら、神様がそれはなかったかのように、許してくださいます。取り消してくださいます。We make mistakes, we commit sins. But if we genuinely confess and repent before God, then God doesn't just forgive, He just wipes them off like they're no longer there. 今読まれたそのサムエルの箇所が、偽善を本当に砕きますね。This passage from 1 Samuel really destroys, annihilates hypocrisy. 私たちが、まあ、あの、代表的な従うことで、あの、通るかなと思いがちです。We tend to think we can get by with token obedience. 私は日曜日に礼拝に行けば、他の6日間、神様を無視してもいいでしょう。と思う人が少なくないね。There are lots of people who think, oh, if I go to church on Sunday, then I can ignore God the rest of the week. 神様の見舞いにそれ全然通らないよ。That will not cut it before God. 神様が私たちの心全体。求めています。God wants our whole hearts. 私たちの人生、全部欲しいんです。He wants our whole lives. 心を尽くして、主に仕えると、素晴らしい報いが来ますよ。Wholehearted obedience to God carries wonderful rewards.
私たちが神様を見心を知るように本当に心を尽くしましょう。May we dedicate our hearts to know God's will. そしてそれ以上に分かっているほどそれに従うようにすべてを尽くしましょう。And even more than that, may we use all that we are to be obedient to God's will as we know it. 祈りましょう。Let's pray. 天のお父様あなたが私たちの弱さを知りながら私たちを愛してくださっています驚きながら感謝します Lord even knowing our weaknesses you love us we are totally amazed but we thank you 主よ私たちが言い訳を捨てて偽善を捨てて心を尽くしてあなたに聞き従えるように助けてください。Lord, help us get rid of excuses, get rid of hypocrisy and follow you obediently with our whole hearts. あなたのご栄光のために感謝して。主イエスキリストの皆によってお願いいたします。For your glory, we ask this with thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.